Hello everybody, it's Clara the Book Goddess and I am here to bring you a review of Odd Magic by Patricia A. McKillop. This book is the Book Goddess Book Club pick of the month, so if you want to join the live discussion at the beginning of next month, I believe is when I'll do it, you have got to read this book because we will be discussing everything that happened in this book. So I don't really know how to tell you exactly what this book is about because it's extremely character driven so there's not exactly a real clear plot line to tell you but basically it begins with our character Brendan Vetch who is going to work at a magic school as a gardener because he has these powers and he can basically speak to plants. So I wanted to get started by looking at the writing style and what I thought of that and then we'll just go from there. So. The writing style in this book is beautiful. It is not unlike J.K. Rowling in the fact that every little thing is almost, almost every little thing is described. And it is just a beautiful writing style and I thoroughly enjoyed it. So let's go on to talk about characters. I actually didn't like Brendan Vetch very much. I thought from his point of view it was extremely kind of depressing and sad. Especially the first chapter. It, it really just made me... Do I really want to finish this? It sounds depressing. But once I got on from there, and especially when we hit Solus's point of view, Solus is the princess of this city called Kellior, and she is betrothed. And well, I love betrothals so much in my books. I like to write about them, I like to read about them, so I'm just like, ooh, betrothed princess, now we're in my territory. And it, it got so good from there, and I loved it. I really liked Solace. She was my favorite character by far, but I also liked her betrothed Valorn. I don't really know what it was about him, even though he's kind of sort of a bad guy in the fact that he is so followed the law against, like, magic in this world is allowed, but only in the way that it is taught by the king's wizards, and unless the king knows you're doing it, you can't do it, and so... That is kind of the conflict of the story, is trying to decide whether or not magic is good or bad. And Valoran is with the king in magic that is not protected and monitored closely is evil and dangerous and it can destroy the world. But at the same time there's something about Valoran that makes you dislike him even when he's being a jerk. Which was a lot. <laughs> but. I also, I didn't really care much for Arneth's point of view either. Arneth is the quarter warden for the Twilight Quarter, where basically it's very magical over there and mysterious, and everybody lives at night instead of in the daytime. And I did, I don't know why, I just, I didn't care, I didn't connect with him very much, I guess, but I did connect with Mistral, who is the daughter of this wizard named Tiramin, who is... Actually, she practices magic, but the king doesn't know about it, and it ends up with a bunch of a conflict, and people are scared of Tiramin, and it is a lovely read to read from her point of view and get to know her because she is so mysterious, and I, it, it was just nice. And then we have Yar's point of view, and I liked, I liked Yar's. It was nice to see someone that teaches at the magic school that was created by Odd, who is a witch that is extremely powerful and extremely old. And it was nice to get a break from everybody else's point of view and see into Yara's head because he is beginning to doubt the laws again about magic in the land of Kellior. And it is, it is very interesting to see him doubting the laws like that. So that is your main characters, and it was it was very nice. I liked most of them. Like I said, I didn't care for Brendan or Arneth, but it was still nice. And as I stated before, the plot is very unclear because the story is so character-driven. It's hard to pinpoint a specific conflict or plot because it is so incredibly character-driven. Okay, so I do want to talk for a bit about the romance in this book. There's potentials for some amazing romance in this book but it just didn't happen and it kind of kind of annoyed me a bit that it didn't but other than that it was a really really good book and it was very interesting to read 
And I hope that it got me out of my reading slump that I've been in so I can go finish The Three Musketeers. So that's it for this book review. If you want to read the book and participate in the live discussion, at the end of the month I will link to where you can buy Odd Magic on Amazon. So thank you guys so much for watching and do not forget to subscribe and follow the Book Goddess blog. Love you guys. Bye.